Hello and welcome back. In our previous video, we have seen how to create catalogs, schemas using external locations and how external locations behave differently for managed tables. Today, we are going to see how managed table and external tables are differentiated in Unity Catalog in comparison to previous Hive Metastore. Today, we are also going to discuss about one of the exciting feature called Undraw, which has been introduced in Databricks. Now, before we start with this video, if you have not seen our previous video, I would recommend you to go back and watch them first. So, without any delay, let's begin. Now, before we can start with external table, we need to have an external location on our ADLS layer where we would store the data for our external table. And we have already seen in our previous videos that how we can use the locations on ADLS that we have defined using external locations through Databricks. So, I am in my storage account which is ADB is with data 01 and I am inside the data container that we have created in our previous video. So, I am just going to get inside this ADB folder and I am going to create a new folder here which is called external tables. Now, this folder would be the root location for our all external tables that we are going to create in our Databricks. And now we already know that if we add a location in ADLS, we have to create the corresponding external location in Databricks to make it work, right? So I will quickly go back in my Databricks workspace and create an external location for this particular location that we have created in our ADLS. Now, I am in my Databricks workspace. If you see my workspace is a bit different than our previous video, this is because our Databricks just got updated. Now, this is the latest version of Databricks which has been deployed. Now, if you want to see what is new that Databricks has deployed in this version, you can just go ahead and click on this what's new and you will be able to see what all releases Databricks is doing for each of the month. You can see for August 2024, similarly July 2024 and you can scroll down and you can see all the updates that Databricks is providing for its offering. Okay, now that we have our external table folder created in ADLS, let's go ahead and create our external location. Today, I'm going to use the UI. To do that, we'll go to catalogs and then I'll click on external data. Now, we already know create an external location, we need a storage credential and we already have our storage credential created, right? SC catalog storage and we are going to use the same one. So I'll go back to external locations and I'll click on create location. Now I'm going to give the name. So I'll give ext tables because this is an external location for external tables, okay? Now I'm going to use the same storage credential and I'm going to paste the location for the ADLS, which is data, which is our container at the rate our storage account .dfs.core.windows.net slash adb slash ext tables, okay? And I'll click on create. Awesome. Our external location is created, right? I'll just click on test connect in order to see if that works. So it says we have all the permissions to work with this external location, right? I'll close this. Now we can go ahead and create a new notebook in order to see how managed table and external tables behave differently in Unity Catalog. Now I have created a new notebook called managed versus external table in UC. And I'm going to use this notebook for our today's demo. So I'm just going to use one of the catalog that we created, which was dev and the schema bronze. Okay. And I'm going to create two things. First, I'm going to create a managed table and then I'm going to create an external table. And then we are going to drop both of them to see the difference how Unity Catalog manages both of them. Now, we have already seen the difference between managed table and external table in Hive Metastore in our previous session. Now, if you have not seen that video, I'd recommend you to go back and watch that video first in order to understand the difference. Okay. So, in order to work with notebook, the first thing we need to do is we need to connect with compute. So, I'll click on connect and I'll start and attach my cluster. So it would take few minutes. I'll come back once this cluster is up and running. Now that my compute is up and running, you can see this green icon here for the compute, okay? So our compute is up and running. So now we are going to create two tables. The first one is a managed table and the second one is an external table. Now we are going to create both the tables under the same catalog, which is dev and under the same schema, which is branch. So I've already created a create table statement here for our managed table and we are going to insert a demo record into the same table, okay? So let me just go ahead and run this now. Awesome, this completed, right? Let me go on the left hand side and refresh. So you can see the manage table here. Let me go ahead and create the external table now. So I'll just change the name to external and also in the bottom, I'll change it to external. And now for an external table, we need to specify the location where we are going to store the data, right? To do that, I'll just type location and within single quotes, I need to specify the location, okay? So this is the location that we created. I'll add cells external in the end, okay? So this will be the location where the data for this table would be stored. So let me just go ahead and run this. Awesome, this completed as well. Let me go ahead and refresh. And you can see both the tables here. Now let's go ahead and see the properties for both the tables. To do that, we'll type describe and we'll use extended with the table name. So I'll just copy the table name from top and I'll paste it here. First I'll see for managed, so I'll just change it to managed and I'll run this. Awesome. 
if I scroll down, you can see the stable type is managed, right? So this is a managed table. And you can see the location where the data is stored. You can see the data is stored under meta store and under tables, you can find the ID of the table, which is 0E675. Okay. Now we already know the dev meta store and the branch schema does not have external location specified. This is why the data is stored under meta store, right? So this is the location where the managed table data is stored. Let's go ahead and see the same for external table. So I'll copy this from here. And I'll run this. As soon as I do that and I scroll down, you can see the type as external, okay? And this is the location where the data is stored. So now we can go ahead in the ADLS location and we can see whether the data files are present in the specified location or not. So I'll go to ADLS, I'll expand the EXT tables and now we can see the table created, okay? Sales external. Let's expand this and you can see the delta table created and there are the data files, okay? Same thing if I go back to blob container inside root and in meta store and inside the meta store ID tables. And now you can see 0 E75, right? This was the ID. So if I go back and scroll up, and you can see the ID here, 0 E75 EB, right? So this is the location where the data is stored. Okay. So we have data files stored at both the locations, which is managed and the external one. Okay. Now we already know the difference between a managed and an external table from our previous video from Hive Meta Store, right? In case of managed table, when we drop a table, both data files and the metadata for the table are gone, right? And in case of external table, only the metadata is gone. The data files are still present at the layer where you are storing the data. Correct? So let's go ahead and do the same for the tables that we created in our Unity catalog. And we are going to see the difference between Unity catalog and legacy hype meta store. Okay. To do that, I'll just type drop table and I'll name the managed table. So this is the table dev bronze sales managed. Okay. Let me just run this. Awesome. It says okay, right? Let me refresh. And you can see the managed table is gone. Now, the data should also be gone from the location, right? So let's go ahead in the ADLS. And this was the table, right? Let me just refresh. And you can see the data is still present. But why is that? Ideally, when a managed table is dropped, the data should also be gone. And here is the difference between Unity Catalog and Hive Meta Store. In case of Unity Catalog, whenever you drop a managed table, the data files immediately does not get removed. It will get removed eventually, but within the 7th to 30th day. So it will get removed automatically, but not immediately. And there is the main benefit. Within seven days, you can retain back the table if you wish. So if you have dropped a table by mistake, you can go ahead and undrop it. It means within seven days, if you wish to retain back this table, you can go ahead and do this. So first, let's go ahead and check what are the tables are dropped. To do that, I'll type use catalog and we'll name the catalog, which is dev. Now, to see the tables which are dropped, you need to type so tables drop in and the name of the scheme, which is branch. Okay. And if you run this, you'll immediately see the table that we dropped, right? This was the ID 0E75, right? So this was the table that we dropped. Now, if you want to retain this table, you have up till seven days in order to retain this table. Okay. So from today till seventh day, you can retain this table. It means you can undrop this table. Let's go ahead and undrop this. To do that, you can just type undrop table and the table name. So let me just paste it here. So this is the table we want to undrop just so it says okay let me go ahead and refresh and now you can see the table is restored right now this is the benefit which comes with undrop in case you have dropped a table by mistake you can undrop it within seven days in order to retain it back and this is why this data is not immediately removed from your adls location okay this is true for external tables as well but with a difference in case of external table the data will lie always in the adls location it will never be removed but in case of managed table the data will eventually get removed within 30 days now you can see this in the documentation as well to do that you just go to google and type undrop in databricks now if you go into the azure databricks documentation you can see this feature supports recovering drop tables within seven days retention period Okay, so this is true for both external table and managed table, but in case of external table, the data will always be retained, but in case of managed table, the data will eventually be removed after the seventh day. Okay, now let's go ahead and do this for external table as well. So what I'll do is let's drop the external table first. So I'll write drop table and we will drop the external table. So I'll just change the name to external and let me just run this. Okay, this says okay, let me refresh quickly. So this is gone. Let's check the data so i'll go back to the blob containers data adb external tables sales external and you can see the data is still present right so let's go ahead and run the same command so now you see the sales external here okay now you can also use the table id to retain so let's just copy this table id and to retain or undrop the table you just type undrop table with 
ID and you can specify the ID here. So if you run this, it says OK. Let me go ahead and refresh. And you can see the table is undropped or retained. Right. So this is one of the best feature of undrop which is available with Databricks. In case you drop any table by mistake, you can retain it back or restore it back within seven days. The data files for the managed table will not be removed immediately. So you have up till seven days in order to restore or retain your table back. Okay, so this was all for today. In our next video, we are going to talk about volumes. In case you like my content, make sure to put your valuable feedback in the comment section. Till then, keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.